Sustainability and manufacturing are really closer than anybody would, would ever think. For every 10% uh, of, of weight savings you get in a car, you get about 7% fuel economy savings. So if you add that up over all the cars that are out there, there's massive ability to, to save energy and become more domestically reliant, and that's, that's the, the ultimate payoff of, of this work. These vehicles will be able to meet future CAFE standards, and fuel economy will be much, much higher than in the past. The future is multi-material vehicles. So right now they're primarily steel, ferrous alloys. In the future they're going to be aluminum, magnesium, still some steel, some thermoplastics, some composites, and one of the big challenges is how we put it all together. If, if you want to make one there are some well-known solutions. If you want to make a quarter million of them and you want to do it for the cost you do today, we need creative solutions. We need new ways of doing it. For us, the Alcoa Foundation partnership is really all about sustainable manufacturing and design. So the big thing we're after is really lightweighting of vehicle structures, um, kind of vehicles of all classes, from bicycles to cars to aircraft to, to boats, all have similar challenges that if you really start minimizing the weight, you run into using combinations of materials where you might have lightweight alloys like magnesium and aluminum and high strength steel and carbon fiber composites and how you design to make it economical and to make it crash worthy and uh, long long term sustainable with respect to both use and corrosion and, and uh, uh, fatigue and recycling and all those things is a wonderful long term engineering problem and that's what uh, we're really excited to be working with the foundation on. So the challenges with, with respect to lightweighting vehicles, joining turns out to be a big deal because if you just put, for example, aluminum and steel together, you have a couple problems. Number one, you can't weld them together because they form these compounds, these iron, aluminum, intermetallic compounds, which are very brittle. The other issue is if you put them together directly, you, you develop corrosion currents that basically want to eat up the aluminum. So we have to find ways of, of physically separating things. That makes for a very difficult design challenge. So with this project, we're looking at a few separate things. Professor Tony Lusher, he's really working at conformal interference joints, and this is partly enabled by high-speed deformation. In my group, we're working on measuring material properties at high strain rate that can be used as part of that. That also can go into crashworthiness modeling. I've also got a student who's looking at designing processes where you marry stamping and electromagnetic forming to enable parts like aluminum door inners, for example opens up lots of opportunities for forming lightweight materials and getting them into automobiles economically. One of the vehicle types that's a strong potential for the future is a space frame. For example, the Audi A8 uses a aluminum space frame. It's primarily welded though, which is expensive and it destroys the hardening of the aluminum alloys. So there's a certain heat affected zone it's, it's not optimum for cost or for strength. Uh, what we're doing here is pioneering some ways to create space frames. For example, recently we, we created a rod where we took an aluminum center section and then we took steel end sections. And uh, just using structural optimization, we were able to create three curved sections using what's called elastic averaging to share the load among the joint. Uh, we made, as far as I know, the first joint where actually we achieved over 100% of the, the base material strengths. It didn't fail in the joining areas, it failed actually in the center section of the tube. So that, that was quite a breakthrough. We're using um, you know, the Alcoa Foundation support really to evangelize these techniques and uh, we think they have wide application, particularly in light structure manufacturing and lots of other manufacturing processes. Uh, the, the way we've built structures and, and, and vehicles and, and pallets has been the same for 50, 60 years. And you know we're looking to really smash that paradigm, get some new ideas, engineer them well, and, 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 and move forward to create uh, you know, better products that people can buy and use, and, and they're also better for the environment.